Okay. There's uh, there's one way to correctly remove a tick, and this is not one of them. You don't want to burn the tick off your skin. The uh, the match is a heat source that will irritate the tick, and uh, it will the stomach stomach uh, stomach contents will be regurgitated uh, into your skin. A okay. uh, common thing that people do, so they'll take a dab of a uh, jelly petroleum jelly and uh, add it right to the tick to smother them and uh, again the uh, stomach contents will be regurgitated into the wound and uh, there's a possibility that uh, you know the person could end up with a disease that that tick has uh, vectored so you don't want to do that but uh, what you certainly don't want to do you don't want to take a nail polish remover and you, you don't want to splash it right onto the uh, onto the tick uh, because that can irritate uh, the tick and it could regurgitate its contents uh, into the into the bite wound uh, So you just want to take fine uh, tip tweezers Grab to as close to the skin as possible where the mouth parts are in the wound And then just pull it straight out you don't want to grab it by the body uh, Because that could regurgitate the uh, stomach contents into the wound and once you pull it out you just take some soap and water and then uh, add some bacitrace into it so you don't get a secondary infection. Uh, if you do get a secondary infection, however, uh, seek uh, medical attention uh, with your medical provider. Okay. We, uh, we capture uh, mosquito traps uh, on post. Uh, we leave them out for, uh, for a day. And, uh, you know, one afternoon I, uh, I pulled out the traps uh, before Memorial Day weekend. And uh, I didn't think anything of it. I did a quick, uh, you know, tick check. Uh, I didn't feel anything in my body. But uh, so, so we went on our trip to uh, Colorado. And uh, when I was stepping out of the shower in the hotel, my my wife uh, pointed out to me that I had a tick attached to my leg. And uh, I didn't even feel it. So I was, I was really surprised. But it, it made sense because the day before, um, I had uh, been in a tick environment, a heavily wooded area, and uh, it was right there on my leg. And uh, what I did was I took some uh, fine tip tweezers and I went as close to the uh, skin as possible where it was attached and I pulled it straight out. Uh, you don't want to yank it or twist it because uh, you might leave the mouth parts behind. And then you want to follow up uh, with, with washing with soap and water and applying bacitracin so you don't get a secondary infection. Uh, if you do get a secondary infection though, uh, you want to seek medical attention. It could be uh, right at the site. Uh, you could have a uh, pus coming out of it. It could be warm to the touch. And then uh, you can turn in the tick to uh, public health, and uh, we can we can uh, have it you know, submitted and tested for uh, you know, pathogens. You can see if that tick that you turned in uh, had had anything.